Hey YouTube, uh, what's up guys, it's Stickers Gamer here, and I've got another commentary for you, this one is Domination on Array, and, uh, my killstreaks are Spy Plane, Blackbird, Tack Dogs, I get the dogs once, but I, I, I end this game 30 and 2, and I get the, uh, Spy Plane and the Blackbird all three times, I'm alive, but then... I only get the dogs once because I made some bad decisions, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It was still a good gameplay, 15 KD ratio, pretty respectable score. So I'm really not going to talk the talk about the gameplay. I really just want to um, the next gameplay I upload. I want to talk about the gameplay in that one. So this will sort of be like a little update vid. What's going on and what I think about the new map packs because they came out for PS3 a couple of days ago. And my favorite is ho definitely Hotel. Now, a lot of people um, like this map or don't like this map because they think it's like High Rise and MW2. I never played MW2 that much. You guys already know that I, I haven't really played MW2. And I never really played High Rise that much, but... I, I guess I would have liked it because I really like Hotel. I like how it's... I really can't explain it. It's just... it's just, I, I, I just like it. It's just a good map, in my opinion. So, I, I really just... I, I feel like it's the best displayed map. There's so many places um, to be, and there's not a lot of places for people to camp. Like, people try to camp in the elevators, but if you... If you camp in the elevator, then when you make it go up or down, the other person knows you're going to be in it. Because it doesn't just move on its own. They have to make it move. So, that right there is basically just saying that it has to be, um, you have to be in it. So, it's not a very effective way to camp. So, camping in that map really doesn't... It really doesn't bother me because there's not a lot going on. But <coughs> my second favorite is probably Convoy. I I'm uh, this map's all right. Um, I don't really feel like it's made for my my style of playing because I like to rush around, um, and like get into the enemy's spawn and get a lot of kills, like flanking them wise, and really. It's just, it's weird. I don't feel like Convoy is the map to do that with, because there's a lot of sniping positions for people to just camp out and snipe, which I don't like, because it's, it's hard to explain the way that I feel about Convoy. It's a good map, but it's just not my style of playing map. Like It's not very good for what I like to do. Then my next favorite is um, it's probably Stockpile, and I don't, I don't know. I haven't really played Stockpile that much. I think I've played only like two or three games on it, because I usually back out. But surprisingly, it is like I I have backed out a bit more, but I've played Zoo more, and Zoo's my least favorite. Zoo's my least favorite because there's way too much ghost and way too much camping all over the map. It's 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 there constantly, and you can't control it. So. There's pretty much nothing you can do. The other team's going to be using ghosts, and they're going to be camping, and they're going to be waiting for you in the stupidest spots. So that's really just not <laughs> not a good map, from my opinion. But again, with Stockpile, there are a lot of places to be, and there's, a, uh, there's like a lot of places that you can um, be able to look after. Like, by the... Um, I'm pretty sure it's the... It's I'm pretty sure it's cl it's close to the A flag in domination. If you played search there, there's like a little cave that you that people sit in. If you take control of that area, there's a little spot that gives you three way view from this direction coming in from the left, straight up the middle, which is coming through the cave, which there's only one way out if you go in the cave, and then through that. There's a top part that swings around the w right, and you you can control those spots easy if you get that spot locked down. 
you can get a lot of kills, which that's the only thing that's good because there's not a lot of people who can camp in that area. But other than that, it's just it's just not fun. I, d I don't like having to deal with campers and second chance and ghost. It's it's just not a good it's it's not a good um thing to put in the game, I guess. And um really I feel I feel like MW3 won't have as much camping cuz if things go the way that I'm hoping they'll go, there'll be stackable kill streaks. And if there's stackable kill streaks, that'll pretty much eliminate the reason for them to uh use ghost and camp in corners because they won't have to work as hard to get their kill streaks. So there won't be reason for them to camp. And I'm sorry about this, uh, like, lagginess. It's like slow-mo. I, I had to cut the audio out because it was really messed up with this. Sometimes if you record with a Dazzle, this happens and it records it weird. I tried recording it again, but the same thing happened. So I just dealt with it. Because it really, the video didn't get messed up. It was just the audio. And the video speeds up and slows down right there. But then it, it gets back to normal. But, oh, I got a text message. I'm so popular. Um, but yeah, so MW3, um, I really, I'm looking for stackable kill streaks, because I think that'll just make the game fast paced, there won't be campers, it'll just be a lot more fun, and I'm really hoping to see a game ending kill streak. I did a dual com today with, um, AO2 Reflex, if you subscribe to, um, AO2 Gameplay, that's where, uh, he posts his videos, and... I really, uh, I, we really, um, went into detail with Modern Warfare 3 and what our expectations are for it. So, it's a pretty exciting video if you want to watch that. <coughs> um, but, so I don't really want to repeat myself too much, but a game ending kill streak would be very nice, in my opinion, because there wouldn't be a reason for anybody. To camp. Like, that's my biggest issue. I just don't want anyone to be camping. And plus, game ending, that... It's it's a good thing to have, because if someone gets one... I mean, like, you're not depressed unless you're doing good yourself. But it, it's really... It's a fun way... It's a fun thing for people to be able to use and not be, like, pissed off or anything. They can just have fun with it. And it's really... It's really, in my opinion, a good thing to have in the game. That's why I, I guess a lot of people liked MW2 because the nuke. I'm not looking for a nuke, though. I think that's a little too generic now. I, I think they should put something better in. And they should take out RC cars. I'm pretty sure those didn't make it. But they definitely need to take them out. As you saw right there, the RC car went right past me. That was just... It, it, it shouldn't even be a kill streak. And the... Uh, I can't think of the... Oh, yeah, the Predator missile. Take out Valkyrie Rockets and MW3 and put in the Predator Missile, then that's a way better game. The Predator Missile was a very good kill streak in Modern Warfare um, 2, and I'm really hoping to see it again in this game. I don't want them to change the Chopper Gunner, because the Chopper Gunner in Black Ops versus the Chopper Gunner in Modern Warfare 3, uh, or in Modern Warfare 2, I take the Black Ops one any day. I think it's way better. It's way more spread. I mean, it's way more um, easier to use, I think. But I never really got that many chopper gunners on MW2. Um, so I don't have the best experience with that. But from what I've seen in Black Ops, I'd, I'd really like to see the... Uh, I'd really like to see the Black Ops chopper gunner in it. So yeah, um, if you liked that video, please give it a like. Maybe even favorite it, but... Uh, final score was 30 and 2. And that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.